In our previous video, we discussed about what a lens is and also its various types. It is bounded by two surfaces. One of them is spherical and the other? Yes, it's spherical or plane. These are the different types of lenses. The two specific lenses that we are going to cover in this course are called biconvex and biconcave lenses. Each one is bounded by two transparent spherical surfaces. Hence the word bi is used. It means two. In a biconvex lens, the two spherical surfaces are curved inwards and in a biconcave lens, they are curved outwards. One more way to distinguish between a convex and a concave lens is that a convex lens is thicker at the center and thinner at the edges, while the concave lens is thicker at the edges and thinner at the center. Why do we use lenses? What does a lens do? In our previous video, we saw a few examples where lenses are used, in binoculars and magnifying glasses for instance. But how does a lens function? Well, the main purpose of the lens is to refract the light in some pattern. There are basically two patterns, convergence and divergence. But before studying these two patterns, we first need to understand how the light is refracted by a lens. Consider a convex lens and suppose a ray of light is incident onto it at an angle. This is the normal at the point where the light ray is incident. Now consider a point object here from where this ray is emerging. What will happen when it enters the lens? This ray is travelling from one medium to another at an angle. So after entering the lens, its speed will change which will result in its bending. Will the speed inside the lens increase or decrease? And where will the light bend? Well, that will depend on the incident medium. Suppose this medium is air. So from this table, we can see that the refractive index of glass is much greater than air. This means that glass is optically denser than air. Hence, the speed of the ray of the light will decrease in glass and because of that, it will bend towards the normal. Alright, so now what will happen when this refracted ray has reached the other spherical surface of the lens? From there, the ray will be refracted again as it enters another medium which is air again. You see that this time, it bent away from the normal. Can you tell me why? Air is optically rarer than glass and hence after entering air, speed of the ray increases and it bends away from the normal. And this is how the light ray is refracted by a convex lens. Here only one ray is emerging from the point object. But in reality, there are many rays that emerge from this point object and not only one. All these after striking the lens will be refracted in the same way. Did you see something strange? Yes, all the rays meet at a common point. Or we can say that all the rays are focused or converged at a single point. And this is one of the patterns that we were talking about. Convex lens bends the light rays from a point object in such a way that after refraction, all these rays converge at a single point. And this is the point where the image of the point object is formed. If we were to place a screen here at this location, then the image will be formed on that screen. Since the convex lens converges all the light rays at a single point, we also call it converging lens. And what about a concave lens? How do they refract light rays? We will see that in the next lesson.